So the latest unemployment figures and employment figures were published today and they make for pretty grim reading. The decline in employment, the numbers of people at work in the economy in the third quarter compared to the second quarter was over 20,000. That's the biggest such decline uh, in two years. There had been hope from previous quarters that the shakeout in the labour market had been coming to an end. The quarterly declines in employment uh, were getting smaller over a period of time. Uh, there was a reversal of that trend in the current quarter uh, and, and it brings to 347,000 the net loss in jobs in the economy since the recession began. So the biggest, sectorally, the biggest loss in employment quite surprisingly came in the agriculture, uh, food and fishery sector. There was a 5,000 net decline in the number of jobs in that sector and that comes despite uh, high commodity prices internationally and a lot of anecdotal evidence pointing to strength in that sector. The second biggest loser uh, on the quarter was the financial services and real estate sector. No big surprise there. The only thing that's surprising is that uh, there has been as limited a fall in employment in that sector over the past three years as there has been. Um, on the gains, uh, again somewhat surprisingly, construction for the very first time since the recession began uh, and the recession in the construction industry in 2007, there was a gain, a quarterly gain in the number of people in employment in the construction sector. Now it's still far, far below what it was, uh, but there was more than a thousand additional jobs created net in the construction sector in the third quarter. The largest single sector uh, in terms of employment that gained in the third quarter was the hospitality uh, sector, accommodation. Uh, food and drink. That may reflect the improved situation in the tourism uh, in the tourism sector. These numbers, in conclusion, are pretty grim. Uh, very big single loss uh, in employment of the quarter. Um, a uh, shift towards longer term unemployment, that drift that now well over half of all the people who are unemployed have been out of work for more than a year or more, uh, back to the times when we had very high unemployment, structural unemployment uh, in the 80s and into the 90s. The, the, the figures also add to the urgency of uh, a greater uh, labour market response from the government in the new year that the government is due to unveil a new what they call an activation strategy, that is that people who are on employment are more actively helped to find work and in Ireland uh, our structures for activation are very limited compared to uh, a lot of our peer countries uh, and there's a big, uh, that could potentially have a considerable impact uh, if you can shorten the amount of time people spend in unemployment it can have a, uh, it can have a significant impact on the rate of unemployment.